deep drop fishing will never be the same. It's the next step in the evolution of deep drop fishing. Power assist rods, reels, and line designed to perform in unison, each complementing the other. It's portable, user-friendly gear unlike the unwieldy gear used by commercial fishermen of the past. Its purpose is to make your fishing easier and more enjoyable and put some of the ocean's best eating fish on the grill. I've been very excited from time to time over the years with the development of uh, a lot of Dio's products. Now, these new little reels that we use today is really one of the most exciting things that I've had a chance to deal with in a long time. It's just phenomenal, you know, you can drop down, uh, hook a fish conventionally, or you can use the electric drive to set the hook. Uh, what I like about it is there being able go. to fish and fight the fish. If you don't get a strike, you just set it in the rod holder and you throw it into gear and it takes off. The jig comes to the surface and stops itself and that's sitting there waiting for you when you turn around. But if you hook a fish, you have the option of fighting the fish to the surface or you can put it into gear and it's a variable speed and very nice tolerances. You know, you can just barely creep it in or you can kick it on up and the rod just bend over and you can pressure the fish like crazy. The drags are heavy drags, but that new synthetic line on those reels, it's opening up an area of the shelf now that heretofore has never really been able to be touched by the recreational fishermen except with huge big electric reels. Over the years we've only been fishing from the top of the reef down to about oh, 200 feet. It's pretty much pushing the limit on a recreational fisherman and people squawk about fishing 200 feet at that. Today we fish as deep as 760 or something like that. You could feel that jig on the bottom. We were using a nine ounce jig and then we used the uh, Saltiga jigs. You could feel it when it hit bottom. You could work the lure and with minimal, I mean just a little tilt of the handle then that lure would come flying up. I'm so excited about it because it opens up a, a shelf of, for fishing uh, from New England all the way around the coast of the Carolinas, throughout the coast of Florida, up into around the coast of Mississippi and Texas, uh, and then up the west coast uh, for the halibut fishing, the ling fishing, uh, all of these deep water fish that uh, before has been a real chore to fish for. This is the simplest thing in the world and I, I'm just really excited about it. This gear was designed from the ground up for deep drop fishing, featuring a unique power level control that gives you instant variable control of retrieve speed and power. Plus, there's a manual winding option too. A digital display monitors line out, line retrieved, even retrieve speed. It's easy to program in different line tests or diameters for precise readouts, even program an automatic jigging feature. Sealed electronics make the reels washable so you can rinse them down after a trip. Saltiga Tendo boat rods and aluminum butted deep drop rods match perfectly with the reel's power. And Saltiga Dendo line is super strong, yet one of the smallest diameters available, less affected by currents for a straighter drop. Its color coding indicates depth and works as a visual marker to show spool movement and speed. The Marine Power 3000 is the powerhouse of the group with power and line capacity to handle deep drops from 300 to 1500 feet for grouper, cod, snapper, and swordfish. For shallow drop to about 400 feet, there are compact Seaborg 300 and 500 models with their compact battery packs for wire-free mobility on the boat. And then there's the Tanacom Bull 1000. It handles deep drop to about 700 feet and beyond but where it really shines is for kite fishing. Over the last 35 years, I've used Daiwa rods and reels exclusively. And during that time, Daiwa has continued to be the leader in advancing the sport of fishing. Well, that tradition continues with the Tanacom Bull 1000 kite reel. This is the best thing to happen to kite fishing in 20 years. Over 50 years ago, Captain Bob Lewis of Miami, Florida saw Captain Tommy Gifford flying a kite in Key West, Florida, and Bob was hooked. Bob spent the next 40 years perfecting the art of kite fishing and spreading the news of the best presentation of live or dead bait for all the ocean's fishes, especially sailfish and marlin. Bob dominated the docks in Miami for many years using his kites. As saltwater sport fishing took off in South Florida and the Keys, many captains began to kite fish. 
From the early 60s to today, hundreds of tournaments and world records have been landed while using a kite. Personally, it's easy to see why. Kite fishing is simple to do and it creates more disturbance from a struggling bait fish than any method I know of, while keeping your terminal tackle out of sight of wary tuna and billfish. The kite creates the world's biggest outrigger. You can fly baits from just beyond your boat to hundreds of yards away. You can anchor and kite fish, you can troll, or you can drift. And on the days with no wind, you can attach a helium balloon to provide lift. By matching the bait for the targeted species, the kite can be used to target all game fish. Personally, I've won kingfish tournaments on the kite. I've caught white marlin, hundreds of sailfish, blue marlin. Some of the largest recorded yellowfin tuna have been caught on the kite and it's also deadly on wahoo, dolphin, and cobia. In recent times, I've landed redfish, largemouth bass, roosterfish, and even grouper and snapper on the kite. The key is to match the bait to the species you're targeting. Most strikes by kingfish and wahoo are sky rockets, and the other species explode on the kite bait as well. With the popularity of catch and release shark fishing, kites are being used more and more because along with chumming, the kite baits put out serious distress signals for the shark to hone in on. Kite fishing will never be easier than now with the new Daiwa Tanacom Bull 1000. In the past we used birdsall reels that did the job well, however they required constant attention by one person. Now one person can work two to three rods and the kite rod at the same time. Kite fishing just got so easy that whether you fish from a boat or a bridge or the beach, you can fly a kite and start catching more fish. Deep drop fishing will never be the same.